hands on with 25 iPad multitasking tips. Some of these tips are simple, but I bet there's at least a few that you don't know. You can use the iPad's dock to quickly switch between two apps. So load up things, swipe up to reveal the dock, and then tap another app like Beam to open that. And then tap things, and then tap Beam. You see how you can quickly switch between two apps? Yeah, the dock makes it super easy to do that. While it's true that you can use the home button to get back home on the iPad, you can also use multitasking gestures to do so, like this. Yeah, that's a five finger pinch. You can also use a four finger pinch. To make sure it's configured, go into settings, general, multitasking, and dock, and then make sure gestures is enabled. Now you can use multitasking gestures to quickly get back home from an app using a five finger pinch or a four finger pinch. You can also use gestures to switch between recently used apps. So I can use a four or five finger swipe like this to switch between apps just like that. It's a super handy feature that shouldn't go unused. You can also use multitasking gestures to peek at neighboring apps. So you don't have to fully commit to switching to the app Instead, just give it a little peek so you can see what's right around the corner. Just like that. And of course, gestures can also be used to invoke the app switcher. Simply swipe up from the very bottom of the screen like that to get to the app switcher. Now remember, if you just swipe up a little bit like this, it will invoke the dock. You need to swipe all the way up like that to invoke the app switcher. Now, if you're on the home screen, the dock's already displaying. So just a quick swipe up will get you to the app switcher. Now you can kill apps by simply swiping up on them while the app switcher is displayed and you can kill multiple apps at once like that. To use split view to open up two apps at once, simply invoke the dock and then tap and drag one of the app icons to the left or the right side of the screen. You'll see this and there you go, split view. Now you can also do some finger gymnastics and select split view apps from home. So you just tap and drag the first app, tap on the second app to load it up and then drag that first app over to invoke split view. Now, same premise happens from the app switcher, tap and drag that app icon, open up the app from the app switcher and there you go. Now what's really cool about this is that you can identify grouped apps from the app switcher. So apps, once they are in split view, stay grouped together until you remove that group. So you see App Store and Overcast and Tweetbot and things, and you can see how they are grouped together just like that. And of course you can remove split view groups. You can do so from the app switcher simply by killing the group, which kills both apps like that. Or you can simply ungroup by dragging over like that. And as you might imagine, it is possible to replace each app in a split view group. So you simply tap and drag the replacement app, hover it over the app that you wish to replace and release. So let's do that again with the other side this time and I'll replace Tweetbot with Things. You can resize split view windows by using the drag handle in the middle. So you can set up a 50-50 proportion or instead you can do 75-25 or you can do 25-75 if you wanna do that. Just drag all the way over like that. Of course, the proportion that you should use varies depending on which apps you're using. Some apps need more real estate than others to be most effective. If you use the little drag handle at the top, you can swap the position of your split view windows just like this. And this works regardless of the proportion that you have set up. Now we talked about split view, which is mainly based on running two apps side by side, but let's talk about slide over now, which is a little bit different. To invoke slide over, you don't drag to the left or right edge, you simply release right there in the middle of the display and bam, there's your slide over app. Now slide over is different than split view, it sits on top of content instead of side by side. Now you can replace a slide over app by simply dragging up and releasing like that and that will replace the existing slide over app. So again, select your app, drag up and release. Slide over stays on top of content even when you switch out the app beneath. So you can see I'm using the dock to quickly switch between apps and notice Tweetbot, my slide over app, stays on top, ready to be used. 
Now again, slide over apps differ from split view apps in a few ways. First of all, you can hide or show those apps at any time. You can move them to the left or right side of the screen. And again, they sit on top of existing content and they only take up that quarter view. It's important to note that you can't hide a slide over app on the left side of the screen. You have to drag over to the right side to hide it like that, but you can slide over in one fell swoop all the way left. You can transform a slide over app into a split view app by simply grabbing the drag handle at the top and dragging downward like that. Now it's in split view. Conversely, you can change a split view app into a slide over app by simply, yes again, dragging down like that. And now we're in slide over. You can also do the same thing on the opposite side of the screen. So you can slide it over, drag down to put it in split view and then put it back in the slide over. Now you can also have split view and slide over at the same time. So we have Tweetbot and things in split view. I'm going to drag up here. Now you don't want to put it on either window like this because otherwise it will assume that window. You want to put it in the middle like this. You see how it changes release like that and it goes into slide over. So you have split view and slide over at the same time. And you can interact with all three applications simultaneously, but only on the latest gen 2017 iPad Pro. Even the new 2018 iPad doesn't allow this. Now I'm going to show you how you can use that slide over window to take over one of your split view windows like that. You simply slide down at the top and whichever side it's on, that is the side it will assume. So if I slide it over to the left and swipe down like that, it takes the left side. Now picture in picture mode is another big multitasking feature for iPad users. So you can get into picture in picture mode by simply pressing the home button or going back to the home screen while watching a full screen video. You can also tap the little picture in picture button here in the bottom left hand corner and you're good to go. So we're going to pause that right now because we don't want any copyright issues or anything like that. We're going to open up Tweetbot and then we're going to open up another application, put that in split view like that. So we have things in Tweetbot and that video at the same time, but we're not going to stop there. We're going to add a slide over app. So we're going to put this right in the middle. So now we have four applications at once. You can interact with all four at the same time. You can play back that video while interacting with those other three apps. You can slide the video around to different locations on the screen, whatever the case may be. You can see how powerful that iPad Pro is with all these awesome multitasking features. So if you're running the latest gen iPad Pro, especially, I definitely recommend taking advantage of all these features. But it doesn't stop there. There's Spotlight with iOS multitasking. So if you invoke Spotlight using command space, you can search for an app and then use that, drag that app directly from Spotlight and multitask with it in split view or in slide over. You can also command tab using your smart keyboard or any connected keyboard for that matter. So command tab, you can quickly cycle through your open apps like that. You can use command shift tab to go in the opposite direction if you want to do that. And you can also just use your finger once that interface is on the screen, just use your finger to swipe between apps like that. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a look at a heaping helping of multitasking tips for iPad users. Which one is your favorite one? Are there any that you didn't know? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.